All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly and ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers out there. All right, just wanted to make mention or note of what's going on as of recently. All right, shit, as of now, <laughs> okay, concerning, uh, what, today, July 19th, 2024. All right, global tech outage, live updates, flights grounded, and offices hit as internet users face disruptions, all right, and as men of the Lord, as prophets, all right, the Hebrew Israelites, all right, we, we warn our people about, all right, trouble that is already predestined and, and prophesied to happen in the times that we're living in, all right, and troubling things like this, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's, <laughs> trouble can pop off very, very quickly, all right, especially when you're concerning the internet, concerning power, concerning outages, all right, People start, then people go into, uh, you know, desperation mode, all right? Let me get, what else, let me get some more on this article. It says, a widespread technology outage grounded flights, knocked banks offline, and media outlets off air. On Friday, in a massive disruption that affected companies and services around the world, and highlighted dependence on software from a handful of pro providers, cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike said that the issue believed to be behind the outage was not a security incident or a cyber attack all right <clears throat> but that's not, that's neither here nor, here nor there the with power being out a hey, whether the reason you know whatever the reason may be a hey, the power is out you know what i'm saying people you know food food being spoiled you know resources not being able to uh, be possessed or, or whatever the case may be all right trouble is is just so easy all right in the in the province we the men of the Lord, all right, we warn our people about these things and our people being you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? And for you heathen, we prophesy unto you that the destruction of your society, the destruction of your economy, it is going to, it is going to collapse, all right? Let me get uh, Amos, let me, let me get Amos chapter 3, man, all right? <laughs> this is uh, Amos chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Yeah, because it, 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 this right now, you know, people's comforts are just, you know, at the moment. we we'll see how long it lasts, whatever the case may be. But people's comforts are basically just being, you know, uh, attacked as, as of right now. All right? The job and, you know, people want to go on their vacations. I think I've think I seen this on someone's social media. Uh, a, a girl uh, flight got um, grounded, got canceled. All right? I think it's, it's going to touch on that. Let me see what else it says. It says, oh, let me go down, let me go down. More than 100 flights canceled at New, New York airport. So some of these, you know, some of these are vacations. Some of these are, are job meetings, you know, people. But this is how easy and quick, you know, things can take a turn. All right. This is how this is how easy it is, man. More than 300 flights were delayed. 100 flights canceled, 300 flights delayed. It's worldwide disruption. Look at the... Uh, the banks in uh in South Africa saw service disruptions for several hours. All right, and this so trouble tr is man trouble is 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 uh very realistic. All right, these things we speak is they're not far fetched. All right, our, pe our people love the masses and the mass population. They love to the things we we teach and preach about. They they like they like to gaslight the message. All right, to thinking that these things are far fetched. All right, when they're not. It's Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Are people not when well, these the script these scriptures and the and the terror of these scriptures? All right, what they the lamentation, the woes, the judgments, all right, the destruction. All right, people are just not afraid. Okay. They're they are they are afraid of their, you know, the their comforts being attacked. You know, not being able to go into vacation, not being able to, you know, uh splurge all the money on this or that. Okay. They're not worried about if they're going to be saved in these last days. I, the, the, the world is not worried about that. It says, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? The Lord is doing all these things. Verse 7. It says, surely the Lord 
power would do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The prophets have the secrets, all right? The prophets understand what's going on in the times that we're living in, all right? So it, it would, it would, you know, it'd be a wise thing to do is to take heed and listen to what the prophets have to say, especially before the day of judgment, all right? Verse, uh, verse 8, the lion, the lion have roared, who would not fear? The Lord power have spoken, who can but prophesy, all right? We can't do nothing but tell, but but have the urge and energy to tell our people what's to come to pass before these things uh, take off. All right, because the scriptures speak about a day, a day of trouble that the that the world hasn't seen before. Okay, let me get First Thessalonians chapter five. All right, going into the day of the Lord. All right, this is going to it's going to be a, these are going to be the times of judgment. Okay, the times of judgment. The the, the comforts about these comforts about to be taken away. All right. So this first Thessalonians chapter five verse one, and it reads, "But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Yeah, for those that understand, understand the prophecies, believe. All right, know the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh being the heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai. All right, know themselves to be Hebrew Israelites. Understand the prophecies. Understand that we are oppressed. Understand that we are cursed by the Lord. All right, that we are subject to our uh, uh, our oppressors. All right." But their, their, their end will be destruction, all right, judgment. Verse 2 says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. This sudden destruction can easily, it can happen through outages. Because, you know, you take the power away, that's it. That's it. You think I'm thinking of movies like uh, Walking Dead. You take that power away, it's a wrap. It is a wrap, man. All right, the operation to the in, in, the operation of of life. All right, society stops. <laughs> all right, and changes instantly. Okay, it says for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. All right, so so we know this the destruction, the sudden destruction is, is going to happen. All right, there's going to be outages. There's going there's going to there's going to be a there's going it's going to be out. <laughs> okay, not temp for temporary. No, it's going to be out. All right. Concerning concerning these times, concerning Jacob's trouble, concerning a tribulation and trouble that the world hasn't seen before. All right. It says, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. See? But ye brethren are not in darkness, that, that they shall overtake you as a thief. Yeah, because it's not going to come upon us unaware. It's not going to catch us spiritually off guard. Did we know? Of course, did we know how this is going to happen Friday, July? No, no. Of course not, but we're we're aware of what the Bible speaks about concerning prophecies. Like, oh, when these when this such thing happens, like such as the economic collapse, when it happens, it's not going to catch us as a thief. All right, it's not going to catch us by surprise because the Bible forespoken of these things. Okay. Verse five: Ye ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And it's, it's things like this, watching and being sober, all right? Not letting, you know, uh, news alerts like this seem to be, uh, that seem to be minute or small, all right? But, shit, let this go, let let this carry on another few days throughout the weekend. Then it's, the problem be, will begin to be bigger, all right? So, let me say, it's left, left or, yeah, therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. And that's what the prophets do. That's what the Hebrew Israelites do. We watch and we warn our people. We give our people the understanding and the reasoning behind these things that are going on. That is for prophecy's sake. All right. That is the Lord doing these things. All right. That we are in the last days. That we're in a time of judgment. Okay. We're in a time of death and destruction. Okay. But the prophets give the reason behind these things and, and it's backed up by the scriptures. Okay. So... Let me get 1 Corinthians chapter 7. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Uh, I don't really have any more. I really didn't have any scriptures, really. But uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, uh, verse 31. All right. So, and it reads, And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passed away. Yeah, the fashion of this world passed away. Let me get this in a new... Uh, let me get this in a New Living Translation uh, yeah, Bible. All right, this is it. Let me read this. It says, same scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. Those who use the things of the world should not become attached to them. Okay. 
Yeah, it, hey, so that's it. Hey, that's 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 heavy. That's heavy right there, man. Not being attached, you know, damn near worshiping these things as 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 God, man. All right, because what? Because the scripture tells us what's going to happen for this world as we know it will soon pass away. All right, the world and the the way it's operating as we know it, it will soon pass away. All right, it's a huge facade. We know it's it's bullshit. It's fake. All right, it's not authentic. All right, it's not it's not real. Okay. As in, it's not, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not, um, basically living to a, a real standard. You know, people, everyone is just, uh, faking it till they make it. And let me put it that way. Faking it till they make it, man. All right. This, this world is, is, is going to soon pass away. The things that are done, the operation today, no, it's going to, the government is going to crack down the elites of the so-called white man, the Edomites. They're going to come with the, the, their MOTB. All right. They're going to come with their technology to be implanted into human bodies. Their real plan. That's their real agenda. All right. And it's just to, right now. It's just to keep you distracted in the meantime. All right. Entertain you in the meantime. All right. That's that's what I mean by, oh, you know, that this that this world is not real and that it's fake. All right. It's, it's full of it's distracting. OK. And the people are distracted. But the prophets in the men of the Lord. All right, that who the Lord has anointed with the Holy Spirit are to warn you of these times. Okay, it says those that use the things of the world should not become attached to them. Yeah, you could you could use the world, but becoming attached to them. All right, where you putting off? Because that's what our people do. Our people put off the Lord, or they don't want to hear the message of of America being destroyed. They don't want to hear about the Israelites. They don't want to hear about the history. They don't want to hear about the prophecies of what's to happen in the times that we're living in now because they want to chase their degrees. They want to chase their, their goals. They want to chase real estate. They want to chase this or that because they're attached to them, all right? But we're here to tell you that these things will soon pass away. These things are about to be destroyed. These, these things are about to be taken away, all right? And, and that includes the comforts of today's society, especially in America, all right? The American dream is that, that depiction is... And that, that lifestyle is, is pushed even further, okay? So, that, the point being made, I don't really have any scriptures like that. I, just wanted to, I definitely wanted to just make mention of this article, what's going on as of now. All right, just to report on it for whomever it may be for. All right. Uh, hey, but it still, it still just shows that we are in, we are in uh, dangerous times. We're in the last days. All right. We're in a time of judgment. Okay, it's going to, there are things going to intensify, things going to amplify. All right, and it's going to be it's going to be more outages. It's going to be it's going to be more of a, of a lot of things that's going to be a threat to to our livelihood and our lives. All right, so it just we just here to hey stay watchful, stay 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 alert, stay aware. All right, spiritually and physically. All right, so with that, I'm gonna end off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakavodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back, which is another sign. These prophecies show that these are signs that Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right. <clears throat> shalom, shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.